Thanks for joining us on Lina TV News. I am Aisha Gambo and Azul. Let's take a look at the headlines. Nigerians have been called upon to unite irrespective of religious affiliation. A Tunipe urged leaders to fear God in the discharge of their responsibilities. Dangote Foundation embarks on food intervention across the country. Stay tuned for the news and details. Deputy Speaker, Niger State House of Assembly, Honorable Afiniki Yunus Dauda, has tasked citizens to be patriotic and dedicated to the country. She made the appeal as the representative of the state governor of Hama, Muhammad Umar Bago, at the official dedication of Iqua Gospel Church, Kilishin Shango, local government area of Gombe State. In her goodwill message, she thanked the former governor of Niger State, Muhammad Umar Bago, for the opportunity to represent him at the event. She expressed her profound gratitude to Honorable Jerry Joseph, the Rama and family, Kauren Kaltungo, Serikin Shangwam, of the for the sacrifice of building a great church auditorium for the service of God and urge other well-meaning individuals in the society to emulate him. Honorable Afiniki Forda used the opportunity to call on the citizens to be patriotic and committed to serve the country and show kindness towards one another irrespective of culture and religious differences. The Deputy Speaker appreciated the leadership of Equa Christian Association of Nigeria, Reverend Dr. Stephen Panyaba, and assured him that the former governor will continue to advocate for a peaceful coexistence amongst all faiths in the country and called on Christian faithfuls to ignore all campaign of hatred being sold to them against this current administration. The Etunupe and Chairman Niger State Council of Traditional Rulers, Al Haji Abubakar Yahya, has urged leaders at all levels to have the fear of Allah in the discharge of their responsibilities. He made the call at the Council Secretariat of Lavu local government area during the flag off of distribution of grains as palliative to residents of the 12 wards by Niger State government. Represented by the district head of Gaba, Al Haji Mini Nga, the Etsunupe enjoined those charged with the responsibilities of distributing the food items to, to various units to have the fear of Allah. In his speech at the occasion, the council chairman, Labun Local Government Area, Al Haji Isa Muhammad Kutigi, who appreciated the federal, the, the federal government and Niger state government for the grants, said it will go a long way in, in cautioning the hardship being faced by the people as a result of the removal of fuel subsidy, especially during this month of fasting, while explaining that bags of beans and shogun are still being expected. The council chairman enjoined the people to continue to be patient and prayed for the leaders to succeed. The tr traditional leaders, religious leaders and youth, women groups, parties, stakeholders and security agencies attended the flag of. Niger State Youth Progressive Alliance, a non-governmental organization has expressed concern on non-appointment of the state indigents to head the power sector or decision-making body of the organization. The Director General of the Youth Organization made this known at a press briefing which took place at, at NUT Multipurpose Hall, Tungunguru, Mina, Niger State. According to him, Niger State hosting four hydroelectricity dams for over five decades has not been given opportunity to any of the top office of the managing director or executive directors in the power sector. He therefore appealed to the president, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, to appoint the new managing director of Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, for, from the state. Turaki reiterated that Niger State boost of many qualified indigents of the state working as professionals in the organization and therefore found out why they have not been appointed to preside over its affairs. Abu Bakar Turaki observed that the state has people working in different departments at top management level that should be allowed and considered for the position of new managing director or executive director which is in line with the Federal Character Commission Act 34 of 1996 to implement and enforce the federal character principle of fairness and equity. According to him, other offshoots of power include Nigeria electricity. Regulatory Commission, 
the Nigerian bulk electricity trading, the National Integrated Power Project, Hydroelectricity Power Producing Areas Development Commission, which are largely headed by non nigerites he alleged. Doctor, Director General also emphasized that the recent appointment of executive directors has only Kogi State considered for the slot of North Central, and the same Kogi had been in charge for the past eight years. Niger State Youth Progressive Alliance therefore called on President Bola Ahmed Tinibu to consider al Haji Ibrahim Musa, who is currently the General Manager of Finance and Accounts in the headquarters of Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. He added that Ibrahim Musa has worked and excelled in every unit of the power sector and therefore has vast experience in all facets of the sector, having worked in the three major sectors of the industry, generation, transmission, and distribution. He further stated that Ibrahim was also a principal manager at the National Control Center, Oshobo, Oshu State, and well acquainted with the allocation of power on the grid to parts of the country, noting, however, that no doubt Ibrahim Musa, which is wealth of experience, will be able to profess solutions towards collecting the huge debts owned by the distribution companies to place the transmission company on maximum capacity. It has been revealed that President Ngote Group Al Haji Al Yukut Ngote has spent about 15 billion naira on food intervention program across Nigeria. It has been revealed that President Dongote Group, Al Haji Aliko Dongote, has spent about 15 billion naira on food intervention program across Nigeria. According to a statement issued to Newsmen, the food intervention program, which was launched in Kanu on Saturday, is being spearheaded by his foundation, Aliko Dongote Foundation. The intervention will see over 1 million bags of 10 kg bags of rice distributed across the 774 local government areas of the Tartasi State and the Federal Capital Territory Abuja. Speaking at the official flag off of the intervention program, Ngote said the initiative is a crucial step towards elevating the ongoing economic challenge faced by the nation. He also emphasized the importance of compassion and generosity during the holy month of Ramadan. He stressed that all stakeholders must play a part in supporting the government to alleviate hunger in the land, saying the distribution of rice symbolizes commitment to upholding the values of compassion and solidarity, which are the core aim of humanity. The food intervention program will run from March to early April 2024. And that's about the size of our package on Lina TV News today. Do well to join us on all our social media platforms on Lina TV 247 or visit our website on www.linatv.com.ng. I am Aisha Gambo and Azimi. Have a lovely day.